Hey, my name is Dustin Brady. I'm the author of this book, Trapped in a Video Game. I thought I'd read you guys a chapter of the book, if that's okay with you. Um, to get us caught up to where we'll be reading, uh, I want to start off tell you a little bit about the beginning of the book. It opens up on our main character. His name is Jesse. Jesse's in sixth grade, and he just got a text from his best friend, Eric. It says, Jesse, come over now. You're not going to believe this. So Jesse goes to his friend Eric's house. Eric is nowhere to be found. The only thing he sees there is a TV, and on the TV, uh, it's, it's a video game. This video game is called Full Blast. It's a game that Eric has nonstop been talking about. All it says on the screen is, are you sure yes or no? Jesse eventually picks up the controller, clicks yes, and everything disappears. And here's what happens next. You know that feeling you get when you're drinking milk while skydiving and your skydiving buddy tells a funny joke, so you laugh the milk out of your nose and then you throw up at the same time? No, that's not an experience everyone has. Well, that's exactly how I felt after I clicked yes. Like I said, everything went black the second I pressed the button. I panicked and felt around for some sort of undo. One problem, the controller was no longer in my hands. I reached back for the couch. That caused me to lose my balance and start falling into the blackness. As I fell faster, my insides started feeling like they wanted to be outsides, and then I think I barfed, and then I thought, video games are the worst, and then I blacked out. When I finally opened my eyes again, I was staring at the sun, which is funny, because if there's one thing that's definitely not in Eric's basement, it's the sun. I felt the ground. Dirt. Okay, super weird. I closed my eyes to get my bearings, and then I opened them again, uh, just in time to see two angry eyes two inches away staring back. Nap time's over, maggot! The two eyes were attached to a snarling drill sergeant who seemed just like the most furious person ever. I tried backing away. Look, I don't... Okay, this is a big... Okay, if you listen, just, just, just call my mom! The drill sergeant did not seem interested in clearing things up with Mrs. Rigsby. Instead, he picked me up by the neck just like a bully on TV would. Listen, maggot, I don't know how you got that blaster attached to your arm, but it's there now, and we're going to use it to... The what attached to my what? I looked down. A blaster attached to my arm where my left hand should be. Ah! My screaming did not stop the drill sergeant from continuing his, his little speech. Bless the alien scum back to whatever rock they came from. You are humanity's only hope for... Ah! This planet, your mission will be long. Your mission will be difficult. Your mission will probably be deadly. But you... Ah! continued screaming through the rest of the speech. After a few more minutes of talking about how it was probably going to die, the sergeant let me go. I sat on the ground hyperventilating and trying to tear the blaster from my arm. Over my breathing, I heard the drill sergeant start talking again. To walk around. I looked up at him. What was that? He stared angrily for a few more seconds before repeating himself. Move the C-stick to walk around. I blinked a couple times. Listen, uh, sir, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but you have to help me. He stared back. I took a few steps closer. I'm not supposed to be... Good! Now press the A button. I squinted at him. Are you even listening to me? He didn't react. Okay, my name is Jesse Rigsby. I'm in the sixth grade. I am not some sort of alien slayer. I don't even believe in aliens, if we're being honest. And can you please just help me get this thing off my arm so I can go back home and finish my homework? Please? Press A to jump. No, I don't want to jump. Press A to jump. Okay, this is a video game thing, right? Like like virtual reality, some sort of, some sort of headset? I reached up to tear the headset off. Instead, I bonked myself with the very real blaster stuck to my very real arm. Press A to jump. Okay, okay, Eric, Eric Conrad, hyperactive kid about yay high. He's the one who brought me here. You've seen him, right? Press A to, fine! I jumped. Happy now? Well done. Now it's time to blast some aliens. Follow me. No, it is certainly not time to blast some aliens. I yelled after the drill sergeant. It's time to get back to homework. I'm supposed to be doing math homework, fractions. I'm supposed to be multiplying fractions. 
as usual. He ignored me. I finally huffed and fouled him. What else could I do? He led me through an empty military base, past rows of barracks to a firing range. He picked up a gun of his own, opened a gate for me, and led me into a stall. Ten yards in front of me stood a cardboard cutout of a man-sized praying mantis. This is where you'll learn how to use your blaster. Oh, I very much don't want to use my blaster. Press B to fire. Okay, that's another thing. You keep telling me to press all these buttons, but what am I supposed to do if I don't have a controller? I did have a controller, but it disappeared when I fell into your weird alien place. So now what? Press B to fire. You are the least helpful person ever! Press B to fire. Like this. He held up his rifle and shot the cardboard cutout. His gun made a little pew sound, and a tiny hole appeared in the cardboard. It looked like he'd shot it with a pellet gun. <sighs> Fine, I said as I felt around my gun for a button or trigger. Nothing. There's no B button. Are you happy now? Can you take this at the moment I squeezed my left hand, or where my left hand should be, and the blaster on my arm fired a glowing white ball? The white ball hit the cardboard and instantly vaporized it. What was that? Very good. You might just save us all yet. Just then, a much larger, much scarier praying mantis cardboard popped up. Now hold B to charge your blaster. When it gets to full blast... Whoa! This is full blast? I'm inside a full blast? Of course, Sergeant Sandpants wouldn't answer me. He just kept yapping away about charging and blasting and then other weapons that you will discover along your journey. I attempted to leave at one point, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to climb out of the firing range stall. After a half hour, I vaporized a row of cardboard praying mantises with a machine gun, and the sergeant deemed me ready to defeat the alien scum. Oh, no, 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 I said. Just please point me to Eric Conrad, please. A glowing vortex appeared behind me. You're being dispatched to the alien outpost in the Rocky Mountains. No, 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 no. Godspeed, soldier. Godspeed. The vortex got bigger. No, 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 no. I tried running away, but it was too late. I got sucked in. Whoosh! Everything disappeared again. More skydiving, milk snorting. Finally, the falling stopped. I kept my eyes closed for a second longer, praying that I'd open them up to find myself back in Eric's basement. Bad news. No basement. Worst news. Lots of snow. Worst news ever. A praying mantis the size of a tank was charging directly at me. And that is the end of a chapter. Hey, thanks so much for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to Gotham Reads for more of your favorite children's books read aloud daily.